Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Daniela, Miss Four Lizard. And I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday morning today because it is beautiful outside. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and I'm having a good time. I've had a really great, relaxing weekend. I definitely needed it. Um, I had a super busy week, and I'm looking at an even more busy work week. Um, in the coming weeks so i'm just trying to take a moment of calm and joy here in my little planner playtime but i have my cafecito here con mi crema um, ugh, my coffee is getting lighter and lighter <laughs> oh my goodness i just love creamer so much i have a cookie butter creamer in this uh, coffee right now but anyways i hope you're doing wonderfully and I'm going to be setting up a bullet journal inspired spread today. These, this is my New Year's resolution spread that I've been working on slowly um, in the past couple of days. And I figured I wanted to take you along with me to set up a couple of more of my New Year's resolutions here. And I'm using pages from a, uh, I think it's called a guided journal. It's a colorful leopard guided journal from the Happy Planner. And I really liked that journal. It took me a second to pick it up because I at first wasn't really into picking up the, the journals. But um, I was really inspired by these like pre-made uh, bullet journal type spreads that that planner had and or that guided journal had and also that guided journal um, came with a bunch of blank filler paper which had no designs on it whatsoever um, so here let me show you what that looks like it came with a bunch of these sheets right here which is like oh my god amazing chef's kiss I really needed some plain dot grid paper in my life because Happy Planner does come out with dot grid paper, but it usually has a bunch of designs on it that get in the way of what I want to do. So <clears throat> this is my New Year's resolutions bullet journal spread and how I'm setting up my New Year's resolutions. I know it's like a month in, we're basically in February at this point, but I already had my New Year's resolutions made and I've been working on them and towards them since the beginning of the year. Um, I just haven't gotten the time to sit down and kind of map them out and, you know, visualize them on paper. So um, that's what's going on today. I've already started here on the left hand side and how I'm setting up my resolutions is I have 17 <coughs> happy planners in my happy planner solar system right now. I know, that's crazy, right? It's so crazy. But uh, I'm a data scientist, so I love data. Uh, I'm a computer programmer that handles terabytes of data, you know, on a daily basis. And so for me, 17 planners seems about right. Uh, I, I definitely need to work on the terabyte scale. So here's my table of contents with all of my 17 happy planners outlined. I only have nine of them in this particular mega happy planner. This is volume one of my madness, but um, volume one is definitely the one that I spend the most time in. It has the most important stuff in it for me. And so I have 17 happy planners, right? And so I decided that I would give myself a New Year's resolution for every single one of my happy planners because each one of my happy planners has its own particular goal and um, its own particular purpose in my life. So I figured I'd give myself 17 different goals to reflect my 17 different happy planners. And each happy planner in my solar system has that purpose of helping me achieve that goal. So I've actually already set up a couple of my goals here and um, I'm gonna go through them with you um, right before I start into uh, making a couple more here. I probably won't do them all today. I'll probably do maybe like four or five. I kind of lied, I'll, I'll, I take that back. I have 18 resolutions and 17 happy planners. And I have that, you know, extra resolution because one of my happy planners started off as, you know, uh, just kind of fulfilling one purpose. It was a part-time position that I have. And then I ended up getting another part-time position as an instructor. And so 
I went ahead and combined that those two part times into one planner because that way um, I have uh, both of those jobs kind of in the same place and that way I'm not too split up. That's fine because I think I have a couple of extra boxes and so I can definitely um, give myself room to have a couple of uh, additional resolutions over the ones that I <clears throat> are on top of the ones that I have for each planner. So let's just quickly go through the resolutions I have and I'll kind of briefly also talk about the planner behind them. So the first goal that I have here, it's the most important goal for me, it's the number one and it, this goes in order of like importance because my planners are kind of ordered in order of importance to me. Um, not necessarily so and definitely more so in the beginning like in the number the, the earlier numbers over the later numbers you know as we get to like planners uh, 12 13 14 um, those are a little bit more of <clears throat> flexible in terms of priority but so far like from numbers like one through seven or so it, it, it does follow like an order a loose order of importance but number one goal for me number one resolution is to graduate this year oh my goodness it's been seven years since i started my doctorate at the university of california san diego and if you're you know been following me for a while here you know that i've been in this game for a while i feel like i always um talk about it um uh, because you know it's such a huge part of my life but i'm sorry if you're a little tired of me talking about graduating and all that but it's just such a big deal for me and it's such like it always feels slightly out of reach <laughs> but for sure this is the last year that i can stay at the university my funding runs out my pi my boss definitely wants me to move on this year so i'm going to put in all my efforts to graduating this year and so my first planner has to do with my scientific research that goes to that goes into you know developing and defending a dissertation and graduating with a doctorate and i have these really cute graduation stickers that i got from like a joanne's sticker pack my second resolution is to learn and develop multimedia communication strategies for higher education recruitment. So this is my second planner and it's an internship position, a part-time position that I started um, last year, like in December, I would I want to say. And it's within the University of California as well. It's a part-time position and it's all about, you know, learning more of the administration the responsibilities and duties of, of higher education. And so this has been a really, really interesting position for me. I've definitely, you know, networked and talked with people that I never really would have talked to in my normal role as like a graduate student and as a scientist. So I'm hoping to really, you know, develop a robust portfolio when it comes to like developing these strategies and these skills for uh, communication and uh, recruitment strategies. So that's my second resolution. My third resolution, okay, this is the one that I was telling you that is kind of the extra resolution because I accepted this position uh, recently, like in the last three weeks. And I didn't realize I was going to have this responsibility, this position when I started the year off. And I didn't want to add an 18th planner to my lineup, even though I was tempted. And I felt like it could kind of fit nicely with the um, grad internship position. Like if I put both of those part-time positions in the same planner, because that way it kind of like, um, they're, they're like, they're kind of similar in that, you know, they're like paid positions that I have, you know, substantial responsibilities to me for. And so I kind of wanted to put them together so that um, I wasn't kind of splitting my attention too much when it came to like some of these more important things. And I felt like um, just one or the other wouldn't really fill up a planner completely. And But putting both of them together in the same planner definitely fills up the planner. And I like that. I like having, you know, a filled planner. So this is the goal of build a teaching portfolio at the University of San Diego. 
So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm an instructor uh, in a genomics laboratory at the University of San Diego, which is different from the University of California, San Diego. I know they sound really similar, but they're actually really different. And um, so I started teaching there uh, as I finished my dissertation, just as, uh, you know, to get some more teaching experience and also just to make more money because as grad students, we do not make a lot of money. And so I have these two part-time positions right now. So I'm super busy, which is why uh, being organized and being motivated to be organized and to complete your tasks and responsibilities is such a big deal for me. Okay, so moving on to my fourth planner. Um, this is my community service uh, science communication work. I am a scientist and I think it's really important to um, continue to uh, pass that knowledge on to the public and to participate in science communication efforts and science education efforts. So I have a goal to grow and develop the current psych, psych, science communication projects that I am part of, um, just to grow and develop those. And then my fifth goal is my current events goal. This I have a current events planner. It's where I kind of motivate myself to stay informed with what's going on on the national and international levels. So my goal, my resolution here is be informed on current events. And I just doodled a little radio and a newspaper. And um, I'm definitely playing around with uh, stickers and washi tape, but I'm also doodling when, wherever I feel like, you know, I if I don't have a sticker, then I just go ahead and doodle something. Like I did not have a radio or a newspaper sticker, so I just doodled those out. And then my sixth goal is my spirituality uh, resolution. I have a faith and spirituality planner. And my resolution here is to build faith and trust in God and universe and to grow my spiritual practice as well as find a spiritual community. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that rambling discussion of my New Year's resolutions. I hope it inspired you to think about your New Year's resolutions and how to tie your planners and your habits into, you know, your goals. I think it's so important to visualize your goals and your resolutions and to have them constantly in front of your face as a reminder, um, or as a reminder to you um, to just inspire you and motivate you and uh, you know, help you to continue the hustle. So I think I'm gonna do four or five more resolutions here and I have six goals already mapped out, um, which corresponds to five planners. So I have four more planners in this particular mega happy planner um, that I still need to fill out. So maybe I'll do four, I'll fill out the four planners that you know I still have left here. So. The four planners that I've left to complete this mega happy planner is my fitness, wellness, my household, and my meal prepping. So let us, uh, let me see if I can fold this over and then we can work on this here. Maybe I'll zoom in a little bit too. Okay, so let's start with fitness here. And I'm going to pull out some fitness sticker books and let's get to it. I'll probably like speed this up and then put some music on um, and then I'll get back to you once I've finished the, the resolution. And that's it. I'm really simple with my New Year's resolutions, you know, just write it out, decorate them, and you're good. So what I did here, I just got a cute little um, girl from this workout fitness book, and I need to go get my dog. Okay, anyways, I was saying, um, so my resolutions, really simple, really straightforward. I just slap down some stickers, I write down my resolution, and I call it a day. And my New Year's resolution is to prioritize my fitness and to do five workouts per week. And for me, that is pretty, um, 
on course. That is definitely not a stretch for me. Um, I definitely have worked out to that level before and it's it's definitely challenging for me to maintain that. I'll be good about doing it, you know, um, the weeks and the months that I'm not as busy, but you know, the months that I'm super busy, I tend this tends to uh, fall by the wayside. So I'm gonna try to prioritize my fitness above all else and then get in five workouts per week. And then let's move on to my next resolution, which is going to be my wellness resolution. And there we have it. This is my eighth goal, my eighth resolution. And so this corresponds to my wellness planner. I'm gonna put the little eight here. Um, yeah, this corresponds to my wellness planner, which has to do with meditation, uh, digital detox, self-reflection, all of that um, mental health. And the resolution here is to make meditation and intentional unplugging a habit as well as to digitally detox you know whenever possible as often as possible and so i just have a little unplug sticker here and i just did a little doodle of this person just sitting in a classic meditation pose with this light bulb idea sticker um, on top of them and i really like what i did here with the little doodle and the light bulb sticker because it kind of you know shows that through meditation you could have uh, great ideas arise and it's so true like uh, meditation is so good for you it helps you to clear up your mind helps your mind to become stronger and a strong healthy mind is able to think creatively come up with creative innovative novel solutions and um, yeah so it's important to meditate moving on to my last two planners I'm gonna do my household planner now. Oops, I was slightly off camera that entire time, I'm sorry. But this one was pretty simple. It was so hard to find stickers that kind of corresponded to household type things. I actually found um, this little Animal Crossing sticker book that I got at a Japanese bookstore. And I found this cute little house sticker um, from the Animal Crossing game. And so I just added some uh, little flower stickers and like a Tom Nook sticker down here. But I kept it really simple because I couldn't really find too much, um, too many little cute little house stickers. So my New Year's resolution for my household is to design and maintain a happy, cozy, peaceful home that allows you to rest and recharge. And then we're going to do my last New Year's resolution and call it a day. This is going to be my meal planner resolution. So I have a meal planner in my lineup this year to help motivate me to be better about cooking and meal prepping and planning and all that. So let's get into this one. And there we have it my last new year's resolution for this video at least i ended up using this sweet kawaii design sticker book um, this is the one with all of like the meal prepping and planning stickers i don't think these have actual names on the sticker book i wish they had names <laughs> i don't know what this thing is called but this is the one that has all the meal prepping planning stickers on it so I added just a bunch of those kawaii stickers down here at the bottom and my new year's resolution is make meal planning a habit reduce sugar and processed food intake buy local and organic and eat green so these are like a bunch of uh, resolutions kind of wrapped up into one the main resolution though is to make meal planning a habit and hopefully um, I'll be able to hit some of these other goals uh, alongside that but the main resolution is to make meal planning a habit and to stop you know eating out slash just eating random snacks laying around 
um, and just filling up on empty calories and too much calories because I'm not eating nutritiously. So I've started off the year to a great start when it comes to meal planning, um, in the large part motivated by the meal planner that the Happy Planner came out with. So really happy with how that's going. And so now I have four more New Year's resolutions uh, in my planner here. Zoom out a bit. There we go. Yeah, and I'm really happy with how it's turning out. So these are 10 resolutions so far, and I think I need eight more resolutions for for each one of my planners remaining. So I'm thinking four of those can go here, and then I have four here, and um, that means I have an extra resolution that I could fill in here, and I also have this large space, which I might use for a vision board, I'm not too sure about that we shall see so yeah let me know your new year's resolutions in the comments down below and i'll catch you in my next video bye